Hello and welcome to day 15 of the Mediterranean diet and lifestyle immersion. It's day 15 which means we're halfway through February. So if you're following along with my plan, how are you feeling? How's everyone feeling? Because I'm feeling pretty good. I feel a little bit more awake. I'm sleeping really well. Um, I know I lost a couple of pounds and uh, just overall I just feel good and I feel positive. Um, right now I'm taking a walk in the park. It's supposed to be I'm going to show you around. Oh, there's a car coming. I'm surrounded by trees. I think it's important to get out in nature once in a while. But as you'll know, I keep calling this a Mediterranean diet and lifestyle immersion because I'm trying to embrace all the things that come with the Mediterranean lifestyle. One of those being taking walks. And it was supposed to be a really mild day today, but it looks like it's going to rain. So I'm trying to squeeze my walk in before the skies open up. So today is Thursday and we normally make pasta on Thursday. So we're going to make a pasta dinner. I don't know in what shape or form yet, probably with tomato sauce. And I haven't decided what I'm going to do for lunch yet. Actually, I actually haven't eaten anything yet today. So I'm probably going to go get a coffee at Starbucks and figure out what to do for lunch. And uh, we'll see what else gets up, what else we get up to today. Thanks for joining me. Tonight's dinner was so tasty. I hope that you try it. I used to be really afraid of cooking shellfish because you know they come in this big bag and there's all these rules about like if they're open you have to discard them and then when you cook them if they stay closed you have to discard them and all that kind of stuff. So it, if you keep those rules in mind they are true. It's really easy and mussels they just have such a tender texture and such a mild flavor. It's not like eating clams although I do like clams too. They go so well with spaghetti with tomato sauce. So I didn't really show you how I make my tomato sauce because I've shown that probably a few different times on this channel already and just make whatever kind of tomato sauce that you like to make. Um, and what I do with the mussels is I just basically start a pot that's big enough to hold them all because you want them to kind of steam. And I put a bunch of spicy things in the bottom. So I usually start with some red pepper flakes. I happen to have a jalapeno so I slice some of that up and I put some olive oil and some garlic and some Italian herbs and I let that get hot and then I add it some white wine because um, it really infuses a nice flavor and I had the mussels sitting after I cleaned them I had them sitting in some ice so I just dumped them in and I put the ice and everything in because I was going to add some water anyway and they really only take once it starts heating up in there they only take about three to five minutes to cook and uh, and all those spices and stuff infuse and unlike clams uh, mussels will actually make their own broth so you can um, well, clams I guess kind of do too, but clams are kind of like a different thing and they're a little dirtier. Um, mussels actually make like a really nice broth, so the juice that was in there was perfect for dipping some bread in. And uh, I made like a little white pizza on the side we, when we made pizza the other night. Those packs come with two and I had made three of them for how many people that I had. So I had one left over, so I made my usual olive oil dipping sauce, which you can see in another video, and I spread that across the bread, and then I just put cheese on top, so it sort of came out like a little white pizza. And I cut that up, and everybody got two little slices of it to go with their um, with their pasta dinner. So I think it came out really nice. So I hope you try it. It's a super Italian, tasty treat. We had a lot of pasta, probably more than the Mediterranean diet would, would um, allow, but uh, I didn't really eat lunch today, so it was kind of like my one big meal of the day. I had like a little snack in the afternoon. So I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you come back tomorrow. So thanks for joining me. Bye.
Hello and welcome to day 16 of the Mediterranean Diet and Lifestyle Immersion. It is a rainy day here and I'm in the car going to Starbucks. And uh, my Starbucks is under construction so I have to go to one that's farther away so that's kind of a bummer. But uh, tonight I'm hanging out with my sister and we're planning on ordering pizza. Uh, instead of making pizza we're going to order pizza. So I have to eat something healthy for lunch. I'm not sure what that's going to be yet. But I hope you enjoy it, whatever I come up with. <laughs> Hello and welcome to day 17 of the Mediterranean Diet and Lifestyle Immersion. I'm cutting three days together in this video because yesterday I didn't really cook anything. Um, I had a salad for lunch, it was a really nice salad, it had lots of different components to it. Um, but I bought it at the farm market. And then for dinner I spent the night with my sister and we just ordered pizza and we drank wine. So there wasn't really anything worth showing you. <laughs> um, but today we're going to try to make today extra healthy. So. Come along for the journey. If you wonder why I'm all bundled up like this, it is really sunny today, so I need my sunglasses, but it's really cold and it's supposed to snow. So cross your fingers that we don't get a lot of uh, precipitation. So what you see here is going to become green bean fritters that we're gonna bake in the oven. One complete. It smells so fresh and green. And then that bite of the radish is just yummy. So they came out a little wet, so we're shaping them by hand. They'll be fine once they get put in the oven. They've been baking on the one side for 20 minutes, and now it's time to turn them over and give them another 20 minutes. It might not actually take 20 minutes on the second side, but they are a little, uh, still a little wet. <laughs> oh, they're coming out fine. I'm gonna make a little dipping sauce to go with these fritters. I'm using my favorite vegan A's the Follow Your Heart Grapeseed Oil Veganaise. I don't really like mayo that much. I've probably told you that before. So I'm not a vegan, as you obviously know, but um, I really like the taste of the grapeseed oil veganaise. I have a little bit of minced garlic and a tiny pinch, well, kind of a big pinch of cayenne in here. And I'm just gonna add a spoonful of veganaise to it and stir it up, and that's what we're gonna use as our little dipping sauce. Buon appetito. just got back from the diner. We decided to go out to eat tonight. I, uh, I haven't been able to find any good fish in the supermarket, so I decided to eat out and have fish. So I ordered a Cajun tuna dinner. And when you think Cajun tuna, wouldn't you think it would be blackened? It was very odd. It was covered in jalapeno peppers, and then it had pineapples on the side. It was very strange. It was good, though. So like, who am I to complain, right? Um, and I got a side of mashed potatoes and peas. <laughs> so, um, once again, we didn't cook, um, but we did make a really healthy lunch, and I hope you enjoyed making that recipe. And uh, thank you for joining me, and I'll be back at it tomorrow. So, bye. <laughs>